Asadatva is a Sanskrit term which is derived from the word, asada Sanskrit, acid which means imperfect, incomplete, unaccomplished, unaffected, unproved, not existing or not having taken effect as a rule or operation as taught in grammar or not possessed of magic power. This term refers to the state of imperfection, incompleteness, etc., or to the state of being imperfect or incomplete etc., but mainly implies not in existence Jane usage or non-existent or no order of taking effect Sanskrit grammar. <laughs> Overview Asadatva, which means, the endless application of rules, occurs on account of conflict or when the question is of conflict, there is no asadatva. Asada means, not having taken effect with regard to the application of the other rules belonging to the same section. But, Patanjali states that rules which cause endless repetition of application cannot be there. Therefore, it is said that the application of a rule should certainly result in finality. According to Jainism, the Adhyayika Bhava has 21 beta or sub-species beginning with Asadatva which is the state of unholiness, the lacking of spiritual perfection. <laughs> Panini's principle of Asada Ashtadayi reveals that Panini formulates his rules of grammar in view of a samanya or general, vicesa or particular and sesa or residual relationship. A particular rule is said to carve out its domain of application from within the domain of its corresponding general rule by way of an apavada i.e. exception, to its related general rule. A rule is formulated to apply and it is never regarded as completely without the scope of its application. In case two rules simultaneously apply the rule subsequent in order blocks the prior rule, though there are some exceptions. Blocking by a baranga or the externally conditioned rule by antaranga or the internally conditioned rule is permitted. But, since two entities can be replaced by each other the application of rules can be treated as suspended asada. Panini has used the word, asada, three times, that is, in sutras 6.1.86, 6.4.22 and 8.2.1, in sutra 6.4.22 he uses the suffix vat derived from the term vati meaning as if, which indicates that simultaneous taking effect of rules in abhya section is not permitted. Only when a rule has taken effect does it make sense to say that it is as if it had not taken effect. The phrase pervitracidum of Sutra 8.2.1 tells us that the rules in Tripadi can be used in a certain order only as found in Ashtadayi, therefore, Asada determines in what order rules are to be applied. <laughs> Panini's account of Asadatva Asadatva, which means, the endless application of rules, occurs on account of conflict or when the question is of conflict, there is no asadatva. Asada means, not having taken effect with regard to the application of the other rules belonging to the same section. But, Patanjali states that rules which cause endless repetition of application cannot be there. Therefore, it is said that the application of a rule should certainly result in finality. In the Ashtadayi of Panini the sutras are declared asada in the following instances. 1. Pervitrasidam Sutra 8.2.1 The sutras from 8.2.1 to 8.4.68 Tripadi are asada to sutras from 1.1.1 to 8.1.74 Sapatasaptadayi. Also in Tripadi the successive sutras are asada to their previous sutras. 2. Asadavadatrabhat Sutra 6.4.22, the sutras from 6.4.22 to 6.4.175, are deemed asada to each other. 3. Satvedakarasada Sutra 6.1.86, the sutras from 6.1.87 to 6.1.111, are asada to Satva sutras 8.3.39 to 8.3.119 and Tuk sutras 6.1.70 to 6.1.75 The concept of asadatva has been used in Ashtadayi A. To prevent the application of sutra on the substitute b to enable the application of sutra on the substituent and c to mandate the order of the application of sutras, and finds its application in the vidi sutras. As a filter technique it applies word internally in a pre-suffixal stem suffix relation. Sutra 6.4.22 lays down the condition of samanasariyatva having the same conditioning element for asadatva. 
According to the Siddha principle, all rules interact in a transparent way, whereas the Asiddha principle is a default principle which can be defeated at cost. Application of rules A sutra or a rule is said to be asiddha in regard to another if, with respect to this latter, it is conceived of as not to exist. The forms to which a sutra normally applies are as arise according to sutras which are siddha i.e. the rules that can have an effect. The number of forms which fall under a rule depends on the relation to sutras which are siddha. The opportunities for application of a rule to cases are determined by the sutras which are asiddha i.e. do not have an effect, by which the forms are added or excluded, that is, by the asiddhatva of the one sutra cases are added to the other or excluded from the other which are siddha. By this method the right tracing of the cases that are to conform to a rule, is secured only if, whether by sutras which are siddha or by such asiddha, those substitutions which are desired or even not desired, are secured or prevented respectively. Sutra 6.4.22 which reads Asiddhavadatrabhat, Asiddhavadatrabhat is an Adhikara sutra that defines the limits up to which it is valid as a bot, a bot in which sutra the word atra, atra means, in that domain or in the domain of the same conditioning element. The rules in the Asadavit section apply in the same conditioning linguistic element. The word Asadavit is taken as a variant of the word Asada. The purpose of a Siddha is to allow an operation conditioned by a Stanan item to be replaced or prohibit an operation conditioned by a substitute. Asadatva has a blocking effect and also a feeding effect. Asadatva invariably leads to Anavistha. Jain philosophy of Karman and Asadatva The Jain philosophy extends the concept of Karman beyond the good and the bad and also beyond their resultant enjoyment or punishment. Each kind of Karman works with a specified intensity, and there are eight Mula Prakritis species of Karmans depending upon their Prakriti, Stithi, Rasa and Pradesas, viz. Jainanavarana karmans which obscure knowledge, Darsanavarna karmanas which obscure indifferentiated cognition, Vedaniya karmans which produce the feeling of joy and grief, Mohaniya karmans which obstruct belief and conduct, Ayas karmans which determine duration of life, Nama karmans which give various factors of individuality, Gotra karmans which define family surroundings and Antaraya karmans which hinder Jiva's capability of resolution and enjoyment, and their numerous Uttaraprakritis subspecies, the Jain thinkers believe that the time time during which the karmans work and the intensity with which they manifest themselves is definite and that it is possible for all karmans to increase or decrease their effects and also transform which transformation they call samkarma. Different kinds of karman which can be related to one another also establish a relationship with the jiva soul and the states bhava produced in it by them. In the jiva there can manifest five states, the parinamika or the essential state, the adeika or the state which is the consequence of the unhindered realization of karmans, the apasamika or the state produced by the suppression of the karmans, the kaseika or the state resulting from the annihilation of the karmans and the kaseopasamika or the mixed state. The Adeika Bhava has 21 beta or sub species beginning with Asadatva, which is the state of unholiness, the lacking of spiritual perfection. In Jain terminology, Asadatva refers to the unproved state and to the non existent, i.e., whose existence cannot be proved, or to the state of non salvation. Siddha is the soul who has attained the status of the Supreme Soul by shedding all karmic matter associated with itself and then cease to interfere in the affairs of the universe. Asadatva leads to anavistha which is a dosha defect according to Himachandra. <inaudible> <inaudible> 